Hello everyone and welcome to my sketchbook flip through. Uh, this particular sketchbook started in November 14 and finished in August 15. Normally I try and get them done a lot quicker but things happen. Um, so this is my first image just of a girl at the Werribee Plaza. Um, I'm trying to learn new techniques as I go through this so Trying to use different colours and push it as far as I can. Still got a long way to go, but I'm still practicing. Um, here's another page just full of faces that are practicing, doing different poses, and these are all people that I've actually seen out and about. So this lady here in particular, I draw her later on and improve on what I did here. Um, this next page is actually just a practice page, so learning different shading techniques, um, using like grey to shade and stuff and trying to do better with the hair. Obviously a lot to improve. Okay, so this next one's actually when I went through with the whole picture, finished it off properly. Um, originally this guy was sitting down. Um, but I thought he'd look better standing up, so, yeah, and as you can see, all the techniques from the previous pages I'm getting better at with shading and using my Copec markers. Uh, it's more people from the Werribee Plaza. These are my favourite spots to draw in the food court. You find all sorts of weird people and you do your best to draw them. Uh, this guy actually, I actually saw on a holiday that we got away, me and my wife got away for. He was at a strawberry farm. I just loved his shorts, they were outstanding, so I couldn't help but draw him. This guy ended up looking a bit more like a crazy scientist than anything else, so I think he turned out pretty good. This guy is just a random sketch of the guy from the 300 movie. I love the visual effects in that movie and the style that was done in, so I love the movie, so I drew, I drew this. Ah, something completely different. As my grey copec marker was running out, I found out that I could get this effect going. Um, so I actually started drawing animals and elephant was the first choice and really happy with how this turned out. And again, more animal sketching. I find that when the marker is really low and really hard to draw, that's the best time to draw. And it was like this because you get the texture from the page, skin tones, and you can just go over it slightly. Uh, more animal sketching. This one's pre predominantly done with um, Derwent pencils. This one's a mixture of Derwent and Copec markers. Just every now and then you just got to do something different to stop doing the same thing over and over again. So. Back to people sketching, that's that lady that I was talking about from the previous page, so obviously did a lot better with the hair, the facial expressions. This guy I actually saw eating at the museum in Melbourne. Just I find older people were the easier, easier people to draw. They just have more character to their faces and stuff, so... Uh, here's a page just of little sketches. Um, this guy had the best silver Elvis hair I've ever seen. This guy had really textured face. Um, but yeah, they've all turned out pretty well. Uh, not so much this one. But again, it's all, all just learning your craft, trying to get better. Uh, spray tan. This old lady had the worst spray tan I've ever seen. 
but she loved it, so good on her. And down here, you can see my daughter got hold of a couple of markers and decided to add her own little bit. So the pink bag wasn't there originally, but I had to draw it in to cover up all the marks that she put on. Uh, now we're back to more animal sketching. Um, most of these, I just use images uh, from the net just to see how I go sketching them. A couple of the early ones from actually the Melbourne Zoo. Um, this guy had a wonderful mullet. He loved it as well. Small people sketching. This picture is actually the first. I bought a whole heap of new markers so I could try different uh, skin textures and stuff and shading and stuff. So, uh, a lot of people sketching. These guys are on a trip to Tasmania, just sitting in a food court eating. Um, yeah. Again, still in Tasmania with this lady. Uh, this one's back in Melbourne, just at the food court. This is actually one of my lecturers from my graphic design course I'm doing. Um, every time she's trying to explain something on like InDesign or something, it was always click and drag, and she was obsessed with cats. So this was a nothing page. <laughs> this guy actually looks like this. There was no embellishment done at all. This is pretty much just spot on how he looks. More people from food courts. Ah, and here we are. I obviously wanted to try something different. Um, yeah, this guy. Yeah, I just wanted to do something really weird, like a caveman or a barbarian or something like that. So that's how he turned out. I took that same technique of big, huge upper body and made it into the Hulk. And now we're back to people sketching again. My main influences, I've only started drawing like this for about a bit over a year, but like people like Will Terrell, Brandon Green, big inspirations for me. Um, I've got a long way to go till I get to their standard, but like they keep saying on their videos, just keep drawing, keep trying. And that's what I do. More sketching. So after I did the Hulk before, I thought, well, let's go through and do the whole Avengers team. So I've got Thor there, Iron Man, Captain America. All right, and then again, when you get a bit bored, do something different. So I saw a lot of biomechanical tattoos, and I love the style. It's just random machinery blended with um, flesh and stuff so that's why I did this one so just random patterns but I love the way this turned out and here we have more people sketching just trying to get more details in the faces and the clothes and stuff from before um, yeah, one of my Facebook pages got to a thousand likes, so I was pretty excited for that. And I posted this picture up only for someone to tell me it looks like I'm playing with myself a little bit, so... It was a bit weird, but I still like the picture. More people sketching. This is a picture that I tried to push, so his facial expressions, his body shape. Like his ears hanging out like that. And then we've got... Hawk guy from the Avengers. Got a practice page. I just bought a brush pen, so I was practicing. And with the new markers as well, so I was trying to get the blending right with the skin tones and stuff like that and yeah. 
coming towards the end of the sketchbook, it's just random people at the Burberry Plaza. And there, that's the last lady. So thank you for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed.